Okay, y'all. One last thing. Time in California is four fifty nine. This is going on both channels. Um, for my monetize and my non monetize, for my practitioners, my priestesses, my gods, my goddesses, um, my fratters, my sorors. Now I know what's going on. I just sit there and, and put some coffee on. I don't even drink coffee. I just need the smell for grace. You guys know how that goes. Now I see why you guys are so unsettled along with me. We are at the peak of the retrograde. It's the seventh. <laughs> God, I'm half asleep. It's going down. What I am learning, because even as you practice and do certain things and you grow and you teach and as whatever you learn, you sit there and share with your fellow brothers, sisters and vice versa for teachers that teach as it's all circulation of energy. The retrograde is not fun. I'm not enjoying this shit right now. <laughs> a lot of us aren't. You guys have experienced some misfortunes and chaos, delays, setbacks. People have been laid off. All this shit's going on right now. But it's happening. It's, the universe is remixing. I think my Leo sis was saying, put it in perspective, it's the house of uh, Pisces right now. Thank you, sis. And it's weird because as we grow, we, there's always something new to learn and understand things. And I love for my, my Leo sis, and I'm saying she's been here several times before. I can't put any else description of how I can describe her because she supersedes anything I've ever known except for Bishop. And it's not religious, it's what's in your spirit and your soul. For Leo, sis, for Libra gang, for my little big bro, for a lot of us, we're not from here. And we speak a different language. Even for understanding how, even for the, the full moon and new moon goes and how things operate. Even for women are cycles, different things happen. This is a universal type of event right now. But through all this remix... And she puts things in your head to make you think about it. And she's right about it. What do you take from this? And that's why you guys are seeing me saying this year, through this part for right now, even through the chaos and the, the, the malfunctions, baby daddies are no longer, all the shit that had to happen. What do you take away from this situation as you now have a new journey? And so through the smoke screen after it's gone, What's your clarity? As a priestess, I will say that years ago, years ago, as things run through my blood, I'm Southern. But you have to uh, take the good from the bad. So I prayed for vision and clarity and attraction. But know what you pray for and sign up for. So there's no timeline of how the universe works, the divine works. And so with this, I'm seeing that things had to happen the way they did for you to embrace upcoming adventures and, and travels. And what do you really want to take out of it? What do you expect for your journey? And you making some proper steps on your journey. So for my sisters and my brothers, I'm also going to put this in here too. And I, I, I encourage certain things. So for... There's a reason as I do certain things, even for what's going on this weekend, I say focus on light and love. But things like different ingredients, there's a method to madness. They may seem chaotic and remixing during this time, but at the end of it, when it's all done, hey, our path is clear, so where are you going to go from here? And I'm getting proof of that too. I'm getting good and the bad. And it took for Miss Leo or Leo to sit there and put that in perspective. Even for people to sit there and revisit my life, my cancer says, so I'm going to check on on. And my other cancer says, somebody's reaching out to me. But as we, we grow together, I love people who grow. Even for a Libra gang to sit there and put in perspective about growing. I'm more, you guys already know I'm not an idle spirit. And whoever's in my circle, they're not idle spirits too. And if you are, this is the time to sit there, remix that stuff, figure out, put people in certain lanes. But where do you go from here? 
So as I hear different things from my sisters and my brothers about misfortunes and things are still in transition, you still have to trust the timing of your life. Do you understand? So whoever comes over this weekend, I'm going to work on that. I'm a priestess recharging right now. It's going down. I got you, as usual. But I'm learning, too, through my sisters and my brothers. What I want to do, too, today is uh, contact a bishop's wife. May God have a rest and bless his soul, but I'm going to contact his wife. And she's taught me some things, too. And some of you guys know her, too. The time to reconnect and we all grow together. This is a time for growth. For us Libras, it's our year. I'm watching you guys too. My family, Libra gang is going down. <laughs> but grow from this year. Grow from the season. I'm in this season this year. This is our year. So even for Capricorn, sis, I'll never forget in 2017, you inspired me because I've never seen, I mean, I heard about vision boards, but to actually see you do it and actually live the course of what you put out there and see you grow and manifest, it blossoms onto the rest of our group. It's a, a circulation of energy. So the same things that you do, you do to me, I do to you, and we're all like there for each other. This year is for growth and I encourage you to find the good through the bad. So I said that with love and light. I love you guys. Even if it's hard, we're going through some shit right now. Don't give up. It's almost done. <laughs> it's the 7th. It's supposed to end the 10th. That's why we're so like uh, very uh, sensitive right now. So anyway, you're not alone. Just, just roll with the punches. <laughs> Your big sis saying this. I love you.